There's evidence of an untreatable fungus or a superbug at a district nursing home. This according to the CDC, as Fox 5's Josh Rosenthal reports live from Northwest tonight, healthcare facilities are now being told to be on high alert. Josh. Yeah, Angie, before we get into what we know about this specific outbreak, I want you to listen to Dr. Amish Adalja. He's going to walk us through what exactly the superbug is. Since the 2010s, we've been tracking a fungus called Candida auris, which is very concerning because it is multi-drug resistant. It emerged on three continents simultaneously and has really been something that can cause a lot of damage when it gets into nursing homes or into healthcare facilities because it preys on those who are already frail, who are already ill. And it appears that's what's happened here. The CDC told the Associated Press that this superbug was reported in a DC nursing home. We still don't know which one, as well as at two Dallas area hospitals. They say three people have died because of it, one in DC, two in Dallas. And officials say this is especially noteworthy because it's the first time they've seen clustering of resistance where patients seem to be getting the infections from each other. That's why they're urging healthcare facilities to be on the lookout for this and to stop the spread. This doesn't often cause severe infection in somebody who is healthy or in the prime of life. So you don't detect those cases because maybe people are colonized with it, but it doesn't cause infection in those individuals. But when you're talking about nursing home vic patients, they can become victims of this fungus very easily because they have very little reserve. We reached out to DC Health for comment, but have yet to hear back. Guys.